Chris Wu van Warabe. I'm the culinary advisor and the house chef of Vigna Concha de Toro, Chile's leading winery. And here we are in the Mercado Central. It's a wonderful place. It's the heart, the throbbing heart of the city where you find all the ingredients. I mean, for a foodie and a chef, it's the place to be. All the fresh vegetables, the fruits, the fish, seafood, you name it, you find it here. So come with me and we go shopping. It's summertime, so we want some fast, easy to prepare recipes. So I'm thinking of a salmon tartare, salmon tartare with a little hint of curry and some fresh limon de pica. Very important you ask your fishmonger for sushi quality. And you can see uh, the filet, it's shiny, just an odor of sea salt and the sea wind growing. For a tartar, the salmon tartar, I need some shallots. Shallots have an intense flavor. Let me see, these little guys look just what we need. So I'm also looking for some limon de pica, which are the little limes we have here in, in Chile. They're intense, they're small, but a lot of flavor. If you can find them, just go for a regular, would be perfect. So we're all set to make our tartar, a salmon tartar, that we flavor with a, a little bit of uh, curry some shallots and limon de pica. So with our salmon tartare, we're serving a Sauvignon Blanc, Grand Reserva Riveras. A very special Sauvignon Blanc, very intense, long finish, and with just the right acidity, acidity to cut through the richness of the salmon. I think we have a perfect pair going on here. So for the salmon tartare, we are flavoring it with some curry, but not just curry. Curry is always a great combination with some apple, green apple, and then shallots, the famous shallots that gives that wonderful intense flavor that we need, the curry powder. A little bit of water, medium low, medium low heat, because you definitely don't want to brown them, it's just saute them quickly. So we have our curry, a mixture of the curry, the shallots, and the apple. We are using a little bit of homemade mayo, if you have homemade mayo, it's always better. A little Dijon mustard, I'll give it flavor. And then for softness, here I have some cream, so just a little bit. And here we'll add the curry mixture. Here we go. And then we're adding the salmon, and the salmon is cut very, very fine. As you can see, tiny little cubes. And Mix it well. Mmm, smells great. Here we go. We'll add some lime, which is very, very important to this dish. Salt and pepper. And I'll add also a little bit of a ciboulette for color. And we'll serve our tartar on endive leaves, so it makes it a nice touch. Just decorate it a little bit. So the final touch is a little bit of limon de pica or lime, that fresh, flavorful lime that will make the bridge towards our wine. So with the salmon tartar, intense flavored salmon tartar, we have our Grand Reserva Ribeira Sauvignon Blanc, just the perfect pair and match with our dish and the perfect wine to sip slowly on a terrace in a summer night. Bon appétit!